This is Sedlitz Church, 40 miles east of Prague. These are real human bones, and they've made everything out of them. You got skulls stacked everywhere. It's kind of mind-blowing just to see. And this is off the hook. This is just stacks and stacks and stacks of leg bones. There are the bones of 40,000 people here. Now that number is particularly phenomenal because in the 14th century, when most of these bones are dated from, 40,000 was about the population of Prague. Most of the people here were victims of a wave of pestilence that swept the region in the 14th century. And many of those victims were from cities like Prague. You see, the thing about medieval cities is they may have been wealthy, but they certainly weren't healthy. For proof of this, you only have to head down beneath the city streets. Oh, that's nice and got a fresh odor. Flush a toilet in Prague, and this is where your waste ends up. There are thousands of miles of sewer in this city. They're a superb engineering achievement. But before there were sewers, all that waste had no place to go. So it ended up in the river or on the street. The fact is, in the Middle Ages, cities were pretty toxic places to live. They were smelly, dirty, and overcrowded. The growing populations had swamped what little infrastructure there was. While medieval cities might be some people's idea of hell, for one creature, it was more like heaven. The rat. For all our modern cleanliness, today's cities are still rife with rodents. They live down here in the sewers, emerging at night to feast on our leftovers. But in the medieval city, with no sewers or refuse collection, rats were everywhere. And that was going to have profound consequences because the rats had fleas. And the fleas were carrying a deadly disease. Today, we know it as the bubonic plague more commonly known as the Black Death. 